Welcome as we continue our devotions for Lent from A Story to Tell. Today is March 18th. Our gospel reading today comes from Mark 10, verses 32 through 34. Jesus took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. Our point to ponder comes from Ash and Starlight. A minor melody marks our cadence, yet you tune my ears for more than that. Resurrection is always the final number. The reading, the end. And they all lived happily ever after. True love's kiss broke the curse. Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. The end. Every story contains settings, characters, conflict, dialogue, a beginning and an ending. But the beginnings and endings are what we tend to remember about good books, good movies, good stories in general. And at the end of the very best stories, the ones that stay with us, all the messy and complicated plot points are woven together in one giant and satisfying resolution. Some stories are better when we know the ending, but most of the time we say, no spoilers please, to friends who've already seen the movie or read the book. We wanna be surprised. God has a story and we are part of it. God loves us so much that God gave away the ending to give us hope during the hard parts. We and the disciples are let in on the secret. Life comes after death and joy comes after suffering. And in every chapter, Jesus walks the road ahead of us and with us so that at every twist and turn, we are never alone. We all have disappointments in our lives some challenges that seem insurmountable, and some difficulties that are, are too much to bear alone. We all either have or have friends or neighbors who have suffered illness or job loss, broken relationships, deep grief at the loss of people that we love, losing our children, our parents, our friends to death is a terrible challenge for so many. We remember Jesus' words to his disciples and to us through them. I am with you always to the end of the age. We're grateful to know the ending of that story. Jesus assures us that God is on a mission to save and to bless the world. And he, Jesus, won that victory. And we're moving now very closely to Holy Week. And we walk with him and we remember his constant presence. Let us pray. Lord of life, preserve and protect us when struggles and disasters strike. Make your presence known to us, Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us.